Welcome! This is a video tutorial to show you how to use the skeleton methods in Lurix Kinect Bundle. When you have one Kinect to connected to your computer, Lurix Kinect Bundle shows you several options. Among those are the touch methods, the skeleton methods and the 3D mix viewer. Today we will be using the skeleton method. As you can see, you can get in the viewer the depth image of the Kinect. You can stop updating it, continue updating it, or show the RGB image instead of that. The basic feature of the skeleton methods is to send the joints of up to 10 users through to you as objects to another application. There are 15 joints per user, and there they are sent from 0 to, 4, 0 to 14 for the first user, 15 to 29 for the second, 30 to 44 for the third, etc. They are sent as objects with the ID representing the joint and XY represent the XY position of the joint and the angle of the object of the two object represents the zeta depth of the joint. There is another feature we have included in Ludix Kinect Bundle, that's the hand method. The hand method on, uh, has two options, only to send hands or send hands with the push method. We will show you how, how it works first and then we will make a little explanation. So when doing like this, you make the hands method work, we'll change a few settings and we will open an example of multi-touch for java that's the swing GUI example We will now put the RGB image so you can get a little idea of how it is working. As you could see in the RGB image, different amount of green pixels were shown for each hand. The hand method works as follows. It gets the hand position and then checks for the pixels near the hand that are user pixels. The distance to be checked for each hand in 2D is placed here and the disparity, the uh, not disparity, the depth, the maximum depth distance used is placed here. When the amount, the area of the pixels covered by each hand is less than 400, it is counted as a push and sent as a Tuyo cursor. When it is over 800, it is considered as a not push and it is sent as a Tuyo object. When the differential, that means the area of one frame versus the area of the next frame is less than, than 0 0.5, it is counted as a new push and it starts using the hand as a push. That means it is sent as a cursor. 
but when it increases over twice its size, it is counted as a not push. You can change these settings and fine tune them as you as whatever are your needs. Um, that would be it, and we will be including more features as the number of users to be used for each uh, for the hand push method and sending the quaternions information of the joint orientation uh, inside the 2 object for the skeleton joint methods and others in the next version. Uh, that would be it for now. Enjoy the software and keep tuned for more tutorials.